In this video, we will talk about what Bitcoin is and why everyone's buzzing about it. I think that the internet is going to be one of the major forces for reducing the role of government. The one thing that's missing, but that will soon be developed, is a reliable e-cash, a method whereby on the internet you can transfer funds from A to B without A knowing B or B knowing A. What is a Bitcoin? What is Bitcoin? What backs a Bitcoin? You put some of your money, real money, online, and it turns into Bitcoin. I don't even know why we call them coins, except that they call it coins in a name. I think Bitcoin has turned into a massive multiplayer online game where speculators are trying to outspeculate each other. Is it a, 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 a means of exchange or an asset class? I see you taking my real dollars and <laughs> then you give me virtual money in return. Bitcoin is a digital currency created in January 2009, which follows the ideas set out in a white paper by the mysterious and pseudonymous Satoshi Nakamoto. The identity of the person or persons who created the technology is still a mystery. Bitcoins are decentralized purely digital virtual coins exchanged directly between two parties online with no middleman. Unlike modern fiat currency, USD, Euro, Yen, etc., Bitcoin is not controlled or backed by any bank or central government authority. Right now, every single payment that you make to another person goes through an intermediary. Uh, either PayPal or bank or Visa or MasterCard. And more importantly, the governmental jurisdiction decides if you're allowed to make that payment. Uh, that payment could be stopped halfway through and then you have to try and get your money back. With Bitcoin, no one can stop it. The moment you decide to send another person digital value, you can just send it and there is nobody in your way, there is no one that has to give you permission to pay another person money, and all they need is an internet connection. Bitcoin is known as a type of cryptocurrency because it uses cryptography to keep it secure. There are no physical Bitcoins, only balances kept on a public ledger that everyone has transparent access to, although each record is encrypted. This has the potential to displace the need for banks as a trust institution. If you and I exchange currency or, yeah. or you know, have commerce using Bitcoin and it goes on the ledger on the blockchain, we don't need a bank to confirm that that is a valid transaction. One of the differences between Bitcoin and the banking system is the it doesn't require a third party to perform. When you make a deposit into a checking account or a savings account, you are actually loaning the bank your currency. They now have title to it and they have a liability on their books to pay you back one day, but they get to do anything they want with it. And you have this intermediary, this third party counterparty that has to perform for you to be able to get your currency back. Cryptocurrencies invert the power structure. Uh, it isn't a few people at the top controlling a whole bunch of, the, of people at the bottom. The power goes to the individual. Contrary to popular belief, Bitcoins aren't anonymous and untraceable. A traceable trail of each Bitcoin transaction is left behind in a public log known as the blockchain. The public record prevents people from spending the same bitcoins more than once. Bitcoins are bought online using real analog money, US dollars, Japanese yen, etc., via bitcoin exchanges and private sellers. Some of the more popular Bitcoin exchanges include Bitstamp, eToro, Robinhood, Bisk, Coinbase, Voyager, etc. 
Thousands of businesses throughout the world currently accept Bitcoin as a form of payment, including reputable e-commerce businesses like Wikipedia, PayPal, Amazon, Microsoft, AT&T, Burger King, KFC, Overstock, Subway, etc. Bitcoin and the blockchain behind it are incredibly powerful technologies. As the future unfolds, these technologies could be used to restructure the financial system into one of fairness and equality for all, a system outside the control of the banking elite. We have millions of people now taking an interest in what is money, the question of what is money, what should it be, and they're learning especially a lot of young people, 